I started this project by creating two four foot long legs by cutting in half one eight foot long two by four. These legs will hold the four by four vertical posts. I wanted to add a groove to each one of the legs so that the vertical posts sat evenly on top of the leg. I proceeded to use the screws to fix the legs and the post. I decided to use brackets to provide additional support at the joints. I had a piece of angle iron laying around so I decided to make my own brackets. I wanted the holes on each bracket to be as centered as possible. In order to determine the position of the holes, I drew some lines from corner to corner and drilled holes where the two lines met. I threaded both ends of the pull-up bar so that I could secure it by using two end caps. If you don't have access to a tapping kit, you can also just drill a couple of holes at the end of the bar and use cutter pins to prevent it from sliding. Now it's finally time to add the brackets at the joints. I added another board at the bottom 
so that it provided extra stability and to use some brackets to attach it to the vertical posts. use a nipple, an elbow, and two end caps to make each J-cob. We are also going to drill some holes on the vertical posts in order to set the height of the J-cobs. I wanted to make sure that the Jacobs wouldn't spin while I was using the rack, so I used some kind of pin in order to secure the uh, Jacobs to the structure. I achieved this by using a bolt to go through the post and the nipple. <laughs> 